Hello guys, welcome to Art and Grace. My name is Deb. If I'm new to you, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. This is my portion of Craft, craft Round the Clock and we are getting sprinkled over to that group. Sorry, this was all tangled up. There we go, got it loose. <laughs> I hope you guys have had a good Monday. Tell me where you're watching from and let's get this sprinkled out. Probably if you're catching this portion, you're on the replay. So please put hashtag replay. I love to go back and say hi to you guys. Hello, Shelly Ann. I'm so glad you're here live. It's always more fun to have friends live with us. So thank you for coming in. I know that it's, you know, evening. You guys are busy. So hi, Omi. You guys let me know you're here. And thank you for sprinkling this out. We want to get as many people joining in. I feel like every time one of us goes live, there's somebody who needs either something said or a little bit of joy. So we want to just sprinkle all of our creators out as much as possible. And we appreciate you guys. Hello, Sheila. Hello, Shelly from North Carolina. And hello, Jennifer. How are you tonight? Hello, Jessica. Hello, Andrea. Hope I got everybody so far anyway. Okay, I've got a really easy, fun, cute little um, Halloween design. I'll show you in a larger scale what it looks like. It's super cute, but if we can get started and get going, we're going to have time to add glass and resin, and I just think it'll be so pretty, but look at the sparkle. I used uh, glitter on this one. I'll show you all the products I use and tell you all about them, but anyway, it turns out super cute, so you guys hang out with me, and I'll show you how easy this is, and it's fun, and I have a few ideas. Thank you, guys. I see that, Mary. Thank you for sprinkling. Oh, thanks. Thank you, Shelly. Thank you, Trisha. How are you? Glad to see you, girl. Yes, Allison, I'm glad to see you, too. I know how busy with all the kids going back to school. Hello, Colleen and Sherry and Denise. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Omi, for sprinkling. Okay, guys, I'm going to pull this up on the iPad so I can see comments a little easier. It's easy for me to glance up and see them um, as I'm kind of working. Hi, April. How are you tonight? I have my Alaska hat on representing... <laughs> Hi, Tamara. Okay, guys, here we go. Let's get started. I'm going to start with the cauldron. We'll do that black. So we have a few layers to add on here. Um, and if I can get this, like I, done, like I said, get this done fast enough, we can put some glass um, and resin on. I'm looking for my round brush. There we go. So I say the one that I was looking for isn't here, but we'll use this one. Any round brush will do. We're just going to get this painted black um, and kind of go from there. So guys, tell me how you're doing. I hate when I can't look at your comments right this second, but go ahead and comment. And when I'm done, I'll go back and answer any questions, tell you guys anything you need to know. Oh, thanks, April. I appreciate it. I just love all my little hats, and I don't know that they look good, but um, sometimes it's better than the hair, you know? Some days you just, I don't know, just the, the all that we have to do to get our hair to look good isn't going to work. We just don't have it in us or, or the humidity or whatever, so they're kind of a lifesaver. So I'll go out of the lines on mine. I just sketched this on here super fast so that um, I could kind of fly through this and not have to think. Hello, Ann. Thank you for the stars, sweet lady. How are you? Hello, Teresa. I'm so glad you guys are popping in. Hi, Sheila. I don't know if I caught everybody, Donna, Jeannie. Um, so I promise I'll go back. I really don't need, if you're gonna, if you're going to Actually, I will. I will paint that, and we'll put, I know what we'll put on there. We're going to put some purple glass, some purple, um, we're going to make this cute. I'm determined, because last time I tried to do this, oh, am I really, Jennifer, 56? That's awesome. How fun. Um, I'll just clean that, and I need to do the little feet of the cauldron. Uh, last time I was on Craft Around the Clock, I didn't have time to finish and, you know, add the resin. Well, I sort of did, but but not the whole complete process, and I really want to do that. So I'm gonna try to really 
focus and get that done. Oh, Shelly, it's a cute little design. Now, let me show you guys, if you're just popping on and you didn't see me hold up the original, I'll hold it up for you because it's a lot cuter than it probably is looking right here. So hold on, get a little sneak peek. Um, we've got the fire, which I think looks super pretty. We've got the purple bubbles and she is a very bad witch. So she's going bye-bye. So yo, you guys can get this tracer on my website, print it out, let your kids paint it or color it or whatever. And then you guys can do your thing with it. Um, let's get out some purple. I think I'll use this purple. Good evening. Hi, Debbie. Thank you for sprinkling. You guys are awesome. Thank you, Vanessa, for the stars. I appreciate you guys. Okay, this is dioxazine purple. I'm going to add a little white, just a little bit, and calm it down a little. Um, so, you know, you, I always say use the colors you have. You don't have to go out and buy to match what we use. You just, you know, make do with what you have. You just need a purple or... For this, you could use green. I think green would be super cute, but I had a reason I want to use this purple. So we're going to come in here and get this colored. Now, you know, I'm trying to not touch my black because we don't want a mess. But thank you. I know Jennifer said we're like about 60 away from 10,000. That's so fun. You guys, you know, most of us don't care about numbers per se. What we care about is uh, getting some monetization from Facebook. That's it. So please don't think that, you know, that I'm over here hoping for big numbers for any kind of, you know, I don't know. I don't know what people think, but, you know, for those that don't know, 10,000 is kind of the magic mark where Facebook will start monetizing, like putting little ads and things in our videos. So it is exciting for us. We do want to get paid for what we do. And... So Facebook has made that way for us. So yes, you know, we're gonna we're gonna go for it, right? Um, if you're just painting this and not gonna put glass on it, then you can go to a lot of detail. You can make your, you know, your little stuff all boiling in here. So I just added a little dark to kind of make it represent some bubbling water. But we're gonna go back when this dries and put some bubbles. So just hang tight. We've got a lot of stuff to add to this. Hello, Claudia. Hi, Cynthia. Tana, thank you for the stars. And Christy and Susan and Anna. Appreciate you guys being here, number one, and sprinkling. And the stars are just ice cream, or what's the word? Um, icing on the cake. So thank you guys. Oh, good. Shelly started turning her birdhouse to a Christmas house. Listen, um, I think it was you that told me you were going to do that. And I got to thinking, I kind of want to do like a little Halloween house with my, I have a birdhouse. So, we'll see. I don't know. I've got a lot on my schedule. So, we'll see if we can get to everything that I have down. But I'm working on it. I've got, you know, a busy month. And from here on out to Christmas, it's just cram-packed with good stuff. So, we'll see. There's so many. Oh, Anna, you're giving twice. Don't do that, girl. It's okay if I don't make the party, y'all. It's okay. Sometimes I feel bad when I see y'all doing that. Um, these are just cute little witch boots. You know, we're going to get these. Most of this painting is just so easy to do because it's just painting it in. When you have a tracer, it makes it so simple, doesn't it? Um, you tell me. You tell me. Do you guys like the tracers or do you just wing it and, oh, look at me. I wanted, oh yeah, that is right. For some reason, I was like, wait, I've got her upside down. But no, she's supposed to be upside down. Carol, how are you? Thank you for the stars. You've done so much fall. Yeah, I, I hear you. I definitely get that way. I'm like, I cannot do, when I was in Christmas in July, I was like, I'm really getting tired of doing Christmas. Um, I mean, it was 110. And so right now we're just doing a mix. You know, we kind of change it up here and there. But I thought this would be cute, and I thought, how cute would this be on a bag? So, like, you know, a canvas bag, and then let your kids carry it for Halloween to get their candy or to go to an event that y'all have to go to. 
It'd be cute on a t-shirt. It would be cute on wood, so like a wood sign. So lots of things you can do with these designs. Let's see. Oh, thank you. Anna, goodness, thank you for the five. You're like, she's gonna get that gold. You're so sweet, thank you. Thanks, April. Oh, you love Tracer Shelly? Okay, good. On a tiered tray? Yes, Christy, it would. Good idea, yeah. Oh, I heard that too, Claudia. I did not know that until, I guess it was yesterday, that somebody said it's got to be public. I've heard them say public, but I thought that was just so they got more reach. But evidently, sharing to groups isn't, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I feel like as soon as I learn something, they change it. So I can't hardly keep up with, you know, what we're supposed to be doing. And I just appreciate every one of you for being here. And then when you sprinkle, that's so great. I love it. Thank you, Jennifer. You're so sweet. How are you today? What do you have going on? Did you, did you go live today? And if so, tell me what you did. And come in here as your business so people can um, follow your business. Hi, Marty. Yeah. Um, okay, so here's the thing. In, I have a private membership called the Art and Craft VIPs. And after this month, I am going to limit my tracers to that group because I want, I want to make things special for them. They're, you know, painting with me and creating with me every month. So I probably will only give away tracers just for special events after the end of this month. This month, I'm giving away everything because we're celebrating. This is my second anniversary for that group. And, you know, it's growing and we're having so much fun. I love it. So we're kind of celebrating and we're having guest artists and guest, guest crafters come in. I'm giving away tracers. We're just doing a lot of fun stuff. I've given away some happy mail. So um, anyway, though, if you're if you've considered getting in my group, this is the time because we just have so much going on and so many good things to do and paint and create. We will have another exchange soon, and um, right now our guest creatives are coming live on my page kind of as a takeover just for fun doing something different but starting you know after this month they'll be back to just going live inside that private group so anytime I have guests that's where they go live is in that private group it's kind of a special treat for those that are in there so I hope that you guys, if you've considered it, would just go ahead and bite the bullet. It's only 18 a month. It's not, I try to keep it as low as I can. Um, okay, how do we, what do we, I keep wanting to turn it over y'all. So we do, let me, let me try to stay on track and tell you a little bit about it while I'm painting. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and come in here and do the background. I want to use this gorgeous metallic. Um, this is pewter and it's a metallic color. It's really pretty. You do have to shake it up because whatever's in here, you need to shake it really well. Deb gives us all. <laughs> I love you, Christy. You're so good and you're so helpful. Thank you. When you share it with somebody. Oh, really, Claudia? That's so weird. Well, you don't have to, so don't worry about it. You know, there's others who can and some. This is six by six, Shelly, a six inch. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Trisha. I appreciate you. It's fun. It's been fun kind of feeling excited. And, you know, you guys know it's a lot of work to try to grow a business from nothing. And so... We're trying to um, enjoy the celebration and kind of go with it and have fun with it. I'm just going to take a flat brush. This one's a little large, but it's okay because I'm in a hurry. And I'm going to see, yeah, I can go right over that. I just want to get the background on here and get this done so that we can do our glass and resin. So, you guys, I'm just going to slop it on here real fast. 
Um, and that's honestly how you can do yours. You can, now I didn't give you a very nice term, slop it on here, but you can take your time and make it super neat. Or um, this is kind of a back, or this is kind of a painting that lends to um, whatever. You know, it's just a whimsical, cute, fun design. So on this one, as you can see, I just got the color on there and because it's metallic, look at that. It's so pretty. It's just a gorgeous paint. So yeah, you just get it on there and it will do its thing and look good. My handwriting is not neat. And on that one, I actually just went for it. It's not too neat. So I cleaned up my tracer so that, so that what you guys will have will look good. And the tracer will fit an eight by 10, or you can enlarge it to a larger size or reduce it to this size. So I took it and reduced it, you know, for this. Oh, Christy, the community is fantastic in there. Um, I love it. It's, it's a small group where, you know, just around a hundred, like a little below a hundred. And um, as you know, in most groups, not everybody joins in because some people, um, they come back and watch the replays or they do things at their own pace. They don't want to, you know, maybe some are introverts and they don't want to talk. So it's a small group, a small group feel. And, um, but those who do chit chat and stuff, um, get to know each other and kind of follow each other. And so when somebody posts something like, Hey, look what I painted, you know, we're all excited and and compliment or, you know, give advice or whatever we need to do, but it's, it's a fun community. So I was going to tell you what we do is I teach in there once a week and I teach live. I just, uh, teach something art, craft, whatever. Usually it's art, but sometimes I do a craft, um, all different kinds of art. It doesn't, not just painting. We do glass art. We do, um, just journaling, junk journal, or um, mixed media, sorry, and all kind of things. And then I have guest artists once a month or more. It's always going to be at least once a month, but sometimes more. And as you know, this month we have four, <laughs> so you never know what I'm going to do, but we have plenty of inspiration from other creatives. And we... Um, have a paint party once a month where you can join live or you can just do the replay if you're more, you know, um, introverted or timid and you don't want to chit chat, then just join or watch the replay. And then each month when people paint or create something that is taught in that group, um, I give away a $20 gift card to somebody. So, um, it's just a, you know, random drawing that I get on and do live with you guys. And each month somebody's winning 20 bucks to Amazon. They can get some art supplies or anything else they've been needing. So we do a lot of fun things, I think. And we would love to have you. There's also no obligation. I always try to remember and say, you know, if you get in there and it's just not what you thought or your circumstances change and you can't afford it or whatever, just cancel that's it you just cancel and get out and it's okay no hard feelings um i've canceled plenty of groups you know we can't all stay in forever although i'd love for everybody to because we do have a family feel oh thanks april they love you <laughs> thank you cynthia you like the boots they're cute aren't they How is everybody's Monday going? You guys let me know. Sometimes I ask that and nobody really tells me, but I really do want to know. It's interesting to see what you guys did and hope I'm not missing any comments. It's so hard to catch them all. Oh, I just poured out the wrong color. See, trying to read comments as I'm... <laughs> it was a busy day, Anna. Like, good busy. Sometimes, you know, those busy days, you get so much accomplished and you feel good about it. Like, wow, I really... Especially if you've been procrastinating on things and you get a lot done. That feels so good. Yeah. 
you guys I feel like this is taking forever and I am determined to get this resin on here tonight so we are gonna have to I'm gonna have to put it in high gear Hello, Susan. I'm glad you did. Cynthia, it was crazy. Oh, my goodness. A snake? What kind? So, that's all I need to know is what kind. If it's non-venomous, non, you know, non-poisonous or whatever, I don't mind them. I mean, I don't love them, but I'll be okay with it. But, uh, yeah, if it was poisonous, I'm not okay with those. We have a lot of snakes in Texas, and... Um, we live, a creek is kind of close to our house, so a lot of our neighbor, we, we really haven't had a problem, but a lot of our neighbors post about it, and I'm always watching for them, because, you know, I let my dog out there, and so if she gets to barking at something, I usually will make sure it's not that, but usually it's a little kitty that hangs around and torments her which I think is hilarious. We love that cat. She's super sweet. And she loves to bother my dog. Okay. Isn't that paint gorgeous? I just love this. And I think with resin on it, it's going to be even prettier. Ooh, Therese had a great day. Kept her one-year-old granddaughter. Oh, how sweet. So her mom could go shopping with her mom. It's, oh, that's so sweet. That was precious of you to do. Oh, I love that. Yes, moms need a break. So if you guys have moms in your life, yeah, be sure and offer to help. I know how stressful it is. And I really can't do much for people because of my back. But let me tell you, before I have a grandchild, I'm going to have my back surgery. And we're going to get it all taken care of so that I can do all the things. Because I am excited about that day. If we never get grandkids, I'll just have grand dogs, I guess. Okay, now. I'm sorry, guys. This. Do y'all see that? Look what I did. Kim, you got on right as I dropped that in my paint. And I have no baby wipes. So let's see how fast we can take care of this. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Hi, Dina. How are you? You're just in time to see me make a mess. I just dropped this right into my palette. But you'll see, uh, you know, we can clean it up. It's not the end of the world. That's black, so no big deal. We'll just use that to cover over the pot. Oh, can y'all even believe? I think it's when you try to hurry. I was trying to hurry, and I was like, come on, Deb, come on. In my head, I was like, gotta hurry, gotta hurry. And, yep. Yep. And I can see people are leaving. Look, they're like, I'm out of here. She doesn't know what she's doing. <laughs> Come back. I do. We all make mistakes. Okay. So, we'll be okay. I promise this is not a major deal. Not a major deal. Yeah, polka dot. Hey, we could have just gone with it, right? We're just going to fix this right up, y'all. It'll be okay. I'm gonna make time in other ways. Make our time up. Can't believe I did that. Yes, we do. Aw, Kim, thank you. How was your day, girl? Did you go live today? I think you did. I think I saw you on the schedule, if I remember right. I have not been on Facebook much at all except to post, and that's about it. I have been doing a lot of other things today. have a lot of events coming up, so sometimes we have to just get our work done and not be on Facebook. Okay, so I think that got it pretty much back to where it was. Now, I was trying to get this brush out of the water. <laughs> Judy. 
Well, it's okay. It, it's all okay. I am gonna quickly do my sides. So just a flat brush and this paint, we can just get this on here, y'all know. It'll go pretty fast. Whew, I am slinging paint. Did y'all see that? Slinging it. I really wanna get this done with you guys. So if I'm in my private group or something, it's not, I don't have to worry about the time like this, but with this segment of Craft Around the Clock, it's a 45 minute segment. And sometimes I really want to do this whole thing with y'all from start to finish so that you can see, because I think sometimes until you see the whole process, you don't think you can do it. You know, there's going to be people watching that are like, oh, that's good. I could never do that. But if they see the whole process, they're like, okay, yeah, I can do that. So I really like to try to get this whole process done. And it can be done in 45 minutes if you don't make mistakes and if you don't take too much time to read the comments. So here we go. We're back in business and got the sides done. As long as they're covered, I'm good because this cup, this paint has excellent coverage. So that is going to be all we need, right? Okay. Now we can move on. Thank you, Cynthia. You're going to like it when it's done. Okay. I am going to get a little small, um, um, come on. Deb detail brush and I'm gonna take my purple and my white on my brush just together and we're gonna start doing some bubbles so I am ooh, that's a lot of water I am going to just start kind of doing some bubbles by using both colors at once it just adds a lot of depth to your color, but you can do one at a time if you want to, or just do them a certain color and not worry about using two colors. There's no perfect way to do it and no right or wrong with art. You just do what you want to do. The one thing I will say is I don't want to get them too thick because I'm going to need this to be dry for our resin. And if it's not, I'm still gonna go ahead and do it and call it a day. So. Y'all with me? 46, Dina? Wow. This is probably not the best one to share though, is it? Because I'm making mistakes, you know? Trying to hurry. I'm dropping my canvas into the palette. I want a few bubbles to kind of be spilling over. This is a boiling pot. You can have some of your bubbles, you know, totally different, like more white and some darker, it doesn't matter. Um, we're gonna, on the other one, I came back and did a lot of detail. And what I did was took a really small detail brush, like this really small, and went into that dark purple. Let me grab it real quick. Will somebody give me a time check and I'm gonna kinda look as I'm doing this. Okay, so you'll take your little dark purple and kinda come across the bottom of your bubbles like this. And that's just giving each little bubble a detail and really makes them look cute when you're done. Now, I'm not going to do that on all of these. I just wanted to show you that that's how to give those bubbles detail. 15, that's it, Shelly? That's all I have? How does this happen? Oh, April, thank you. And then I'm going to do the same thing with white and I'm going to come across the tops with the white. But see, here's my problem is I like to teach. I like to show you what I'm doing and show you how I'm doing it. And that takes time. So, oh, well. Um, so anyway, here's what we're doing. We're just coming across the top of each little bubble. 
Um, and then you can take your little brush and add some, you know, do some white, do some purple, whatever you want to do. Okay, I'm going to stop and, oops, and kind of keep going because if I do glass art on this, it's going to cover that up. I'm showing you guys the painting for this design. Okay. And I'm going to turn this. Now, this is now upside down, the writing. But I'm going to turn it upside down so that I don't get my hand in that paint that I just did. And I'm going to go ahead and do these letters. And for me, I find it easy, if they're traced like this, to just do all of the strokes in one direction. And then kind of come back and do the other direction. You know how they talk about muscle memory? So if you're, it just goes faster because your, your hand is doing the same stroke over and over, which does go faster. Ooh, that end's getting really too close to that eye, but that's okay. The witch is in. Okay, do y'all get my joke? I mean, this is a common thing you see. This painting is not, like, new to the world. This We see this every Halloween. But have do y'all know what, I mean, the witch is in. Like, my husband didn't know. He was like, huh? He just was looking at it like... That doesn't make any sense. Hello, girl. How are you, Jeanette? Um, glad you're here. 42. Aw, Dina. Okay. And Jennifer, I saw you too. Thank you. Let's see. Oh, that was going to be orange, y'all. See, I'm in such a hurry. Oh, the fire. Good grief. Good grief. We're not getting to it, are we? Oh, man. Okay, I'm going to get out some red. Y'all, we've got to, I just have to. At least I'll do a little of it. This orange isn't even open. And I really want to use orange. I'll use this orange. Mm, yeah. Nah, we use this one. Oh, no, we're not using that. Oh, gosh, nothing's going right. Nothing. <laughs> Hi, Brooke. How are you? Hi, Trisha. <laughs> Oh goodness, we're gonna get out some other orange because I have not had time to shake those and so came out all icky. Hi Lynn, how are you? Trisha says you get it. What what did I say? I don't even know. Okay, so we got red, orange, and yellow. And I'm gonna come in here. I'll use this angled brush first. I'm gonna go into the red. I'm gonna dip into the yellow and the orange. Okay, so all of them are on the brush at the same time. And we're gonna start at the bottom and kind of come up and just twist. And when it starts to kind of wear off, start again. And I will still use my brush. So all three are on here now. We're gonna come up and twist. And then when that one just really has red on it, I'll kind of come back in and do some more. This is just quick, quick. You don't overthink it. You just get it on here. And you can kind of come back with just the other color some. Like I said, you don't have to just, you just don't have to do it the same every time. I just kind of want, I like it kind of shooting out to the sides a little bit like that for interest. Okay, quick and easy. Just a cute little fire going under there. And I had a broom on the other one. I think if I stop right this second, I can get to the glass. What do y'all think? So I'll leave the broom off, but let me show you this. You know what? I think I might've left the broom off the tracer. I need to add that. <laughs> but anyway, that's the, the large one. And look at, okay, so I put glitter paint on her legs the fire, a little bit on the bubbles and the words. So can y'all see that? What I used is a product called Sprinkles. 
and it's by Deco Art. It's this. So I used the white, a gold, and a green. Those are the three that I used. Okay. Now, I know I saw Christy. She's usually my timekeeper. Let's get this done, guys. I think we can do it. I am, I'm on my supersonic speed here. Thank you, Monica. Thanks for sprinkling too. I love y'all. I, I mean, I'm serious. When, when I ask you to sprinkle, I really appreciate it. Y'all do it. And I appreciate it so much. Oh, Marty, thank you. Okay, so we're gonna take our, um, our glass. So for the fire, I'm going to take my pieces, and if I had more time, I would definitely kind of lay them out, you know, all kind of going up. You know what I do, you guys. I just like to lay them out how I want them with points sticking up and everything, but obviously I don't have enough time to really play with it. But that's fun to me to kind of get them how I want them. Uh, but some people don't. Some people just dump it, and that's also good. It doesn't matter. You don't have to place them how you want them. You can just dump it. Okay, so we're going to put those down. I have this pretty purple that I bought for the Alzheimer's event to do something with, and I haven't done, I didn't use them. So I'm going to put this over, and this is going to be our little bubbles. How cute. So that's why your painting really doesn't matter as much if you're going to use glass. You don't have to go to a lot of detail if you're going to cover it up, but some will show, and I really like to show y'all the art as well, because not everybody wants to do glass. So, if you just wanted to paint it, you've got a cute painting, um, but if you want to do the glass, then there you go. So, we'll just kind of do, kind of pile it up a little bit. I like to pile it up when I can, you know, it depends on what the painting is, but piled up will be cute for that. Okay. And then we can put black on the pot if we want to. I'm trying to think if, if it needs it. It almost doesn't. Um, what do y'all think? We could do, I feel like it might take away from the design to have too much since it's a small, it's a six inch, but I'll look for y'all's comments. Y'all let me know. Oh, thank you, Sonia. We're getting close. It's okay if we don't make it tonight. Nobody worry about it. Nobody think twice. It's fine. I'll be live tomorrow. We'll make it tomorrow, right? Um, and I didn't put little, I was going to take this orange and put three little buttons on her boots. This is probably gonna be just a keeper for me because it's not gonna be as cute as what I'd want it to be if I gave it away. Leave it off. Okay, okay, y'all were thinking this the same as me. Monica, thank you for the stars. Y'all are so amazing. And thank you, Christy. Are y'all like celebrating with me or something? It's just fun. It's a fun, it's a fun time. Okay, so let's just get to, let's get to mixing. So when you're doing resin, I recommend, I, I recommend never, ever, ever touch resin without gloves on and without reading the SDS, the safety data sheet. It is extremely important to know what you're using. Please do not listen to me or anyone else and just do what we tell you. Because let me tell you, I've watched some creators who have not done the research and they're recommending products that are harmful. Um, so please do your due diligence, especially if you have children in the home or elderly people living with you, um, or maybe you yourself have health issues. Resin can be very harmful to your lungs and to your brain. So knowing what exactly is in yours is important. And, um, okay, I know somebody's got my time. I'm not even gonna worry about it, probably Christy. So um, 
And please don't worry, guys. It, I'm sure everybody that has been able to sprinkle has, so please, no worries, guys. We're, we're going to be just fine. But, um, what was I saying? Um, hi, Marie. I'm glad you're here. How are you? Oh, about the resin. Just, it's so important. It's so important to be safe with resin. And I would rather spend a little more, and I'm using Art Resin Brand. I have done my research. I have read the SDS sheet. I have done a lot of reading on it. And this one, in my opinion, is the safest. So I'm sure there are others that are just as safe. But when I found this one, and, um, and I, I, I felt good about it, and this is one that other people that I respect use as well. Like Cindy from Art Shattered. She's an excellent artist, has been doing this a long time. This is also the brand she uses. So um, that's why I think it's important to just be careful. Uh, resin is, it's just nothing but chemicals. So you gotta be careful which company you're trusting with your health. Okay, let's see. I you, you, you need to use exactly half and half. So one half of the hardener to one half of the resin. So I went to five cc's and um, with, with one, so five cc's with the other. So I've got 10 cc's in this cup. I'm mixing slowly. I'm trying not to mix too fast. You don't wanna whip it at all because you're gonna get a ton of air bubbles. But by going slow, you minimize the air bubbles. We will use a heat blow, not blow torch, a like brute creme brulee torch or kitchen torch to get out the bubbles. If you don't have one, use a heat gun. It just needs to be really high heat on a low setting. Hair dryers don't work well because they blow too high or not hot enough. But if you don't have anything else, I guess you can try it, I'm sure. There are some people who have good luck with a hair dryer, maybe. I don't know, honestly. I, I bought a heat gun first or had one when I started doing this. Um, so yeah, that's what I used at first. Let's see, I'm watching for time. Thank you guys for sprinkling, You, I see you, thank you. I'll go back, oh Claudia, you're awesome. I'll go back and read every last comment I give you my word. Um, sometimes I can't, because I'm going somewhere or whatever, but I, I will, because I can. Hello, Sheila, how are you tonight? Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate every last one of you, and I know y'all are all busy. Brookie 108, how fun. It's always super fun to get over 100. Thank y'all. I think I'm gonna cry, I don't wanna get emotional. Okay, Christy says stop. Okay, so all I'm gonna do, how are we on time? We got a minute. I'm going to take this and I'm going to sprinkle it over my glass. You want it to touch every single piece of glass. So right here, I've got it piled up. So I am going to have to sprinkle over this whole thing. And I'm just watching to be sure it's going down where it's supposed to. And in just a second, I'll have every single piece touched. Or the ones on top, I can see that it is seeping down beautifully. So let me hold it up. I don't know if y'all can see from the angle that it is, but you can see, I can see that it is all up in here. It's all drizzling down in. And then this as well has touched every piece. Then, I know I need to go. Um, then I'm going to take my stick and just spread it out across the rest of the canvas. I will not need this entire amount. Um, I don't do it so much that it drizzles over the side. It's like this, it's a nice coating and I bring it to the sides of all of these, all sides, and then it sits on a level surface overnight and tomorrow I'll take a picture and I'll take a video and I'll show you and it's gonna be gorgeous. I can tell you that this color is gonna look great with resin over it. The fire will look really good and of course our glass will look good. Thank you guys. I would love to have you in my private group. I want every one of you who's considered it or thinking about it or kind of wants to try a month. It's just one month 
And if you don't enjoy it, get out. It's okay, no hard feelings. You can still hang out here. But after this month, a lot of what we do is only gonna happen inside that group. And I want you guys in there with us. So consider it if you can. And if not, we'll still hang out here as much as possible. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. It is a special night, and I appreciate all of the sprinkles. We'll probably make our goal tonight, so that's really exciting. Love you guys, and I will see you next time. Please go see the next crafter on Craft Round the Clock. Bye, guys. I'll post pictures, too. <laughs>